Hello, this is Reverend James Hutchings, and I'm looking ahead to the uh, fourth week of Easter, the fourth Sunday of Easter, this coming Sunday, the 8th of May, as we continue to celebrate the new life that Jesus brings us through his resurrection. We see the signs of new life all around us uh, in the world, uh, and uh, we've been celebrating new life, as it were, in the life of the church this week. We had our annual uh, meeting, and at that we have uh, a new church warden, a new treasurer, uh, new members of our PCC, all elected for the first time. We give thanks to those who are retiring from those roles. Uh, and perhaps as we do that, we can also remember all those uh, locally and nationally who've been elected to public office um, this week as well and pray for uh, all those who serve in public life um, in that way. Uh, as we look ahead, uh, we also remember the uh, Christian Aid 300k steps challenge, which some of us are doing. Uh, I'm a little bit behind the schedule on the 300,000 steps at the moment, but hoping to catch up with some big walks uh, next week. Uh, not too late to join that either. You can very easily uh, catch up. So do look out for the details of that on our weekly news and everything else uh, that is happening at the moment. So in our main gospel reading uh, this Sunday in John's gospel, uh, we hear about Jesus's intimate care for us, his flock, uh, and his intimate relationship with uh, God, his Father, into which we are also invited. So here are some of the words from the Gospel reading from John's Gospel, chapter 10, beginning at the 23rd verse. Jesus was walking in the temple in the portico of Solomon. The Jews gathered around him and said to him, how long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I have told you and you do not believe. The works I do in my father's name testify to me. But you do not believe because you do not belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. What my father has given me is greater than all else, and no one can snatch it out of the father's hand. The father and I are one. So we can visualise that scene of the pressure being put upon Jesus to say exactly who he is. And I think we can all be like that in our understanding of religion and of uh, faith that we want it to be absolutely certain. Uh, and while that may be very understandable at one level, what that betrays is actually not wanting it to be a matter of faith and of hope. We want it to be something very cut and dried. We can tick the box and we can carry on in our own sweet way in our lives, not worrying about God uh, or the wider things beyond our immediate lives. Jesus is saying that it should have been very clear, should be very clear, who he is and what the nature of God is from looking at his life and from what he has said. And that uh, it is a matter of faith in the sense that we uh, are to listen out to God's voice. We listen out to his voice, yes, in prayer. Uh, we also listen out for his voice in the voice of other people and in the uh, voice of our times. Uh, if you like, the circumstances of our lives. And we're given an assurance here that uh, Jesus will never have anything snatched out of his hand. And elsewhere in the Gospel, uh, John's Gospel, Jesus says uh, he will draw all people to himself through his death on the cross and his resurrection. And so we're all invited uh, into that uh, fold uh, to be part of the greater life that he brings for us. So as we celebrate the new life of Easter, we're not simply celebrating Jesus's resurrection. We're celebrating new life, the potential uh, to uh, sprout and to flourish within each of us. And that the way we do that is by being attentive to the way of Jesus and being attentive to his voice uh, through uh, being able to step aside and spend time listening for that in prayer, in quiet, uh, in the scriptures but also being attentive to that voice in other people uh, and in the world around us. Is that of Christ that we are hearing uh, or we are doing? And to follow that way rather than the, the way of the world. 
So uh, this Sunday we have our uh, eight o'clock um, Book of Common Prayer communion, eight, uh, and then followed by at ten o'clock by our parish Eucharist. We have a service of baptisms at eleven forty-five with three uh, lovely children being baptised uh, then, and we welcome their families. Uh, at six o'clock, we uh, have our service of Evensong, which is led this week by uh, Geoffrey Barnett. Uh, so I welcome you to all of the different activities taking place uh, at St Mary's. Also, um, recording this today on Saturday, we have our Christian Aid uh, coffee morning. Uh, so do come along and support that if you can as well. And I'm also preparing for the wedding of Henry and Abigail at lunchtime today. So again, more signs of new life that we celebrate. So I'm going to conclude now with the words of one of the collects for this Sunday. Let us pray. Risen Christ, faithful shepherd of your father's sheep, teach us to hear your voice and to follow your command, that all your people may be gathered into one flock to the glory of God the Father. Amen.